today on our workbench here is this cassette player and radio uh, from national as this this was a very old japanese company but this is not made in japan it's in where in malaysia under license but a very good piece of equipment as i used it before now this had been brought by somebody the model number is rx m50 uh, so it's a mono type not a stereo this is a basic type actually but it's a good machine so that's why i'm going to attempt its repair and this will be a useful video for someone who is about to learn something on electronic repair uh, just uh, this had been come in the way as i'm going to show you how it was there was no compartment uh, battery compartment cover over here and the, of course the antenna had been cut off or whatever burnt mark you can see over here so this was in this such condition and also there was there is a jack i can see over here as you can see also somebody tried it with something some modification somebody made and the problem with this one which i just see it over here as you can see is the voltage selection you can see at the moment it is 110 to 127 volt had been selected and here is the power connector of course uh, but here as you know the power supply is 220 volt so if this selection wrong selection had been made, made this voltage selection so the power supply will burn inside and that had been happened with this one also so now i'm going to correct it so the correction is something way easy you have to grab a screwdriver and just uh, correct it but the problem is this will not solve the problem as you can see now it is 230 volt 250 volt something like that as the pressure over here the potential difference is something like that so I would just uh, what i'm going to do is um, i'm trying to, to attempt a repair on this one but for sure the power supply we will not repair it as a transformer i'm sure transformer had been burnt and this is a six volt machine as you can see over here and of course from here the battery compartment also it's telling the same thing for battery cells are there so i'm going to open this one uh, using a phillips screwdriver i have to open this one just some screws are there and some had been lost by the previous owner So now you can see almost all screws which were there I just opened them and the way it will come off this cover you have to eject the cassette compartment and then this will come off like this and here is of course uh, as you can see one thing this is the radio uh, pointer which is over here some way like this on this scale so this one is adjusted by this gear and this gear is of course downside it is connected to the gain capacitor or the tuning capacitor here is the power supply just about what i was telling and of course here is a fuse so for anybody's first attack will be the fuse but this is not the case over here the transformer is underneath and that had been burnt uh, what the research is and these wires uh, you can see these are just from the battery compartment somebody connected somebody tried it and uh, they are trying they were trying to give some power from the outside this is what is my suspicion uh, now this machine as you can see here is a mechanical kit just for the beginners and this is for the cassette and here is the speaker the downside is the pcb here is of course the microphone for the recording and uh, as i explained this is the power supply so what we will do we have to just uh, power up this machine by some way from the by the external power and uh, for this purpose what i am doing is i am removing the kit from the mechanical kit i am removing from by this way and uh, of course i have to remove this head cable which is over here this plug so the kit will not come in the way like this we will put it side and then later on uh, as you can see here these are the power supply two wires in blue and red which are going to the pcb over here the main circuit board are the 
one circuit board which is there that one and uh, these are the two wires which are connected over there and uh, well we will connect power over here so the machine should run this is what is the way and uh, for sure we will have to connect power over here and to test it uh, for that purpose i have to grab my multimeter and uh, some external power i have to put so for that i have to set the meter to voltage range and here is what is my power supply over there as you can see over there is my power supply this is a samsung actually uh, cell phone charger or something like that so this will give me something five six volt over here on these two terminals these are the just soldered terminals over here and just i'm going to test this thing so you can see 5.3 volt which is enough for this machine to run 5.3 volt is coming from here on these uh, two terminals so what i will do is i will have to connect these two wires to the machine by this way just i have to put over here i'm showing on the camera the power where the power is going to the machine and this is very common in the automotive the people from automotive field they understood they can understand it very well uh, this is known as uh, back pro probing something like that so i'm doing the back, back probing this is not for the measurement purpose actually for the powering purpose i'm doing the back probing but unfortunately these are a little bit bigger or thicker so i have to remove one wire and just try to put it in some way like this yeah it's okay now it seems to be okay and the other one i have to try with the two wires if it is going it is okay otherwise i will make it thin also and it's not so for sure have to remove one wire and just try to do it with a single wire so now it's by back probed as you can see this machine just i put the wire of the power over here and for the further testing or for the further insurance of the power we have to test it how we will test is uh, over here if we will test for sure there will be 5 volt as you can see there is 5 volt and over here also so this uh, negative is coming so by this way i have to reverse the polarity yeah so 5 volt you can see which is going to the chassis and now if i will switch on something some function as you can see on the mechanical kit the machine is running just see this machine is running it's working and uh, the playback also it's working but the problem is something is bad with the some belt is loose actually that's why it's not fine so it is as you can see with the external power supply it is working but problem with this one of course is yes this wire is creating problem for me to put it some way in properly like this later on we will try to make this power supply also yeah if i will switch on the radio so i cannot listen the radio the volumes are full and here I'm not listening anything so what is there is either the speaker is bad or something is going bad with the amplifier I will have to check it so for the speaker just I have to test the speaker speaker have two connections which we have to check with the continuity so I am putting the meter on the continuity if we are listening the beep the speaker is okay otherwise the speaker will be bad so just like this as you can see speaker is good something 5 it is showing so it's 8 ohm speaker or something like that speaker was good now we are coming to some other testing so the way we are testing is we have to put this machine on radio as now it is on radio so we will have to test this amplifier as you can see the amplifier is over here this one is the amplifier IC and uh, here are the some data sheets just I printed for this 
amplifier IC you can see this is by the Sanyo and it is of course LA4192 this IC here is the diagram for this one and here is another schema the block diagram for this IC here is the circuit diagram schematic diagram it can be used as stereo as well as mono as in this case is so here we have to check what first we have to check for the supply the VCC power as you can see VCC is coming over here this is going to the pin number 12 so the pin number 12 and the tab or fins in the middle they are grounded and the other pin which is ground which other pins which are grounded is 5 and 7 also they are grounded as you can see these are the chassis grounds and of course these fins as I explained and the pin number 12 should have voltage so we are going to test for that and then later on we will proceed with our further testing so grabbing our multimeter and uh, putting it on the voltage range just I put it on the voltage range uh, some way like this I have to put the multimeter in front of you so that you will be able to see uh, just uh, pin number 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so the last pin that is the 12 so what we are going to do is we are going to test voltage on that pin so everything is okay as you can see the power is there just I am going to check on the connector the connector power is getting the unit is getting power but on the 12 there is no power as you can see the power is not there on 12 so what we will have to do is we will have to take ground over here and let us see so it means that with the ground also there is no power on pin number 12 so power is not coming to this amplifier so this amplifier IC will not operate we are going to troubleshoot this thing where the power is missing that is what is our goal to repair this machine we will have to find the place as a spot where the power is missing for this purpose we have to remove this speaker first as we are going to remove almost everything on this from this machine to bring the chassis in front of us so the chassis we will repair uh, oops broke no problem i will repair it with the paper epoxy later on okay 